about you as I want to know is what I'm doing on here. Reckon the reason I'm on here is because I make music. But I reckon what you is want to know is how come me to make music, so I reckon I'll start at the front and tell you. I lived out in Memphis, Tennessee most of my life. In a little old house on the outskirts of town. The musicians in town didn't too much want me hanging out with them. So mostly, I just sat around out there in my room making music. Didn't have no studio out there, but I had me a karaoke machine to record on. Tape or two to put in there. Went to Beale Street off and on from time to time, but the bands down there, they were very cruel to me. And Made quite a bit of sport of me, made fun of me quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So mostly, I just sat around out there in my room. Most bands that play down there on Beale Street, down on the Party Street, play for the bar and music venue business. Mm -hmm. Bar and music venue business is a very cruel business. Don't treat the musicians very well. Don't pay them too much of a wage. Didn't pay Muck Sticky too much of a wage. Mm -hmm. Just barely enough to get by on, I reckon. But I reckon we got by all right. We used to promote our shows for six or eight weeks beforehand, spending lots of money. Usually had three or four hundred people come down and watch us play. Mm -hmm. So I know we had enough to where the music venues could pay us a hundred dollars or two every time we played. Mm -hmm. Seeing as how they charge ten dollars a ticket, three or four hundred people. I reckon two hundred bucks is fair. Most of those bands usually go off and get themselves a record contract deal. The record business is really a more cruel business than the mu music venue and bar business. They take advantage of artists with their contract deals and all. They used to say, that Muck Sticky is a very talented artist. They said that quite a bit from time to time when I'd be down there on Beale Street. Well, I reckon you want me to get on with it and tell you what happened, so I reckon I'll tell you. I was just sitting out there in my room one evening, not doing too much of nothing, just kindly looking at my phone and waiting on a record label to call me and give me a record deal. Mm -hmm. Well, I heard a commotion coming from my computer. So I jumped up running there and looked on the screen to see what was going on. And I seen a email in my inbox with a record contract deal I'd been waiting on. Mm -hmm. Well, I seen the terms of the contract. Mm -hmm. They's a having their way with me. Mm. Well, I just seen red. Mm. I picked up a git box that was a sitting there by my keyboard. Some folks call it a guitar, I call it a git box. Kind of a long wooden handle. Kind of shaped like an axe handle. With a long body on it, shaped kind of like a bowling pin. Mm -hmm. Strings on one end going down to the other. Mm -hmm. What the country singers used to sing their songs and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I went in there and I hit record on a karaoke machine. Cut me a pretty good song. Mm -hmm. 
but I don't reckon that quite satisfied me. So I got me a computer with a good recording program on it and just plumb near cut a whole album. Mm. Killed it. Well, them other bands jumped up and started hollering, would you stay independent fur? Would you stay independent fur? Well, come to find out, I don't reckon those bands are minding what the record business was are doing to them. I reckon that made me matter what the record business had made me. So I take in the git box. Some folks call it a guitar, I call it a git box. And I hit the record business upside the head with it. Killed them. Thank you.